Yo, what's up, guys? I just got done watching the Bulls beat the Bucks in game two. And in today's video, I'm going to be recapping that game, breaking it down, and giving my opinion on it and covering it. Also, later in today's video, I'm going to be giving some injury updates and an injury update on Lonzo Ball that isn't the best. I'm going to be honest. And later in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some NBA draft news and some, I'd say, potential draft targets for the Chicago Bulls. But like I just got done saying, I just got done watching the Bulls beat the Bucks, And let me just say, DeMar DeRozan was insane. Definitely make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like on today's video for last night's huge W. It takes a second and it helps me out a lot. And check out all my past videos and leave some comments and questions talking about yesterday's game. And I'm going to be real, the Bulls came out with, the I'd say, energy. The Bucks looked flat for most of the night. I mean, the Bulls came out 9 nothing, just like, the I'd say, the game one, but it was reversed. But either way, I mean, DeMar DeRozan went insane. He dropped 41, his playoff new, his new playoff career high. I didn't, I don't even know what to say. DeMar was crazy. At, at one point in the game, I believe it was in the, I'd say, late third or early fourth, I felt like he was honestly hunting Giannis. Anytime Giannis switched on to DeMar, he was shooting mid-range jumpers right in his eyes. Also, let me just give a huge shout out to Vooch. I feel like game one and game two versus the Bucks have been probably Vooch's best games as a Chicago Bull. And not only on the offensive end, even on the defensive end, he's been very solid, even though he has kind of been in foul trouble. You know, I know Giannis still dropped 30 plus points yesterday, but it was a tough 30. You know, I'm going to give a huge shout out to Alex Caruso as well. He was everywhere on the court blocking people. I saw he had a few blocks on Giannis and he had one on Brooke Lopez that was nice. You know, he had nine points, 10 assists and two rebounds. Also, huge shout out to Patrick Williams. He played a very solid game. He had almost a double double in points and rebounds i mean zach played solid i'd still like to see more from zach but i think i can just kind of tell while watching the game you can tell zach's not 100 percent but either way the bulls shot much better from the field especially their big three and demar Derozan. i mean demar Derozan put up 41 he said no way in hell he was going to shoot 6 of 25 again the Bulls' big three all shot great. Even, I'd say, pretty much the whole roster shot really good besides Kobe White. You know, they were knocking down their open shots. They were cra crashing the offensive rebounds really well as well. It was just a complete game from the Chicago Bulls. I mean, the Bucks did go on some runs here, runs here and there, but that was expected, especially from the Bucks. I'd say, winning last year. You know, the Bulls are, have a lot of, I'd say, momentum, and it's a lot of positive vibes heading back to Chicago. I know a lot of people, including myself, only expected the Bulls maybe to win one to two games if lucky and I'm gonna be real I think the Chicago Bulls should be up two nothing against the Bucks right now and so does Chicago Bulls talked on Twitter but either way you know I feel like this is a series now heading back to Chicago and regardless how this series do series does play out the Bulls through two games have exceeded our expectations, I'd say. You know, much respect, and they deserve all of the credit for playing as a team. Something we haven't seen, I'd say, since the All-Star break. I don't know what flipped, but it's looking like the Bulls are in playoff mode. Just like I'd say playoff rondos kind of a thing. I feel like the Bulls are locked in right now, and I love to see it. I mean, the Bulls, I mean, their starters are playing a lot of minutes, but it's playoff time, so who cares? I mean, benches really can't play that much in playoffs if you want to win games. And I'm going to be honest, I'm really shocked on how good this Bulls defense has been, especially, I mean, just watching them to end the season was really rough. The Bulls have flipped the switch, you know, they, this defense and honestly, the offense last night is, I'd say, leveled up. They've been incredible on both sides of this series, especially Alex Caruso. He's been like a free safety flying all over the court, always causing problems. Vooch is being, a, I'd say, very aggressive on the offensive end and especially very active on the defensive end. And even Patrick Williams, I believe he's a huge X factor for this team. You know, like I said, Giannis did have 30 plus, but I feel like he is making it difficult on him and he's crashing the offensive and defensive boards as well. The Bulls are shocking a lot of people and the media i'm really happy with what i'm seeing they've been playing with a lot of energy and fight left in them definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about last night's game i believe the bull should be up to nothing right now let me know what you guys think below today's video and the next topic in today's video is a little injury update on Lonzo Ball. You know, obviously Lonzo is, I'd say, ruled out for the rest of the season. And the Bulls are already giving the Bucks, a, I'd say, a hard-fought series. Just imagine if this Bulls team was 100% healthy with Lonzo. I mean, obviously Zach's not 100%. 
just imagine if we had Lonzo back. I believe the Bulls could make a really deep run into the NBA playoffs. But according to Joe Crowley, you know, he put out an article just the other day talking about DeMar DeRozan and Alonzo Ball update. And I'm going to be honest, the, the quick little injury update isn't the best. And even still, Lonzo is still dealing with some, I'd say, discomfort in his left knee, according to Billy Donvin. You know, he was ruled out for the rest of the season earlier this month. But now the questions are on how much longer will this bone be bruise be an issue before the team, I'd say, can start getting him ready for the offseason and obviously next NBA season. Billy Donvin did say the biggest thing they have to deal with is how long to get away from the pain. That's the thing they're trying to do right now to get rid of the discomfort i'm not sure how long that takes there has been a plan laid out as far as time here in chicago and time in la you know he also said how do we manage the situation and get him back to being healthy and feeling good and this final quote Billy Donovan did give is kind of concerning. He said, if it gets to a place where he's still having discomfort after a longer period of time, I don't know what the next step would be. I think it's obvious the next step would probably need to be surgery. And I hope not. I mean, Lonzo's already had his fair share of surgeries throughout his career. I mean, Lonzo throughout his whole career in the NBA has been dealing with a lot of leg and knee injuries. I mean, back in 2018, he, lost, he was out 30 games due to leg injuries. 2019, 35. 2020 he was healthy and then 2021 he lost he missed out on 17 games and of course this season he did miss out on about 40 plus games so that's not a great injury update on Lonzo Ball, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated on the his whole injury situation throughout the offseason. And the final topic in today's video is about some NBA draft news. You know, not only did the Chicago Bulls win last night versus the Bucks, but the other day the Bulls did win a tiebreaker with the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Bulls will now draft at the 18th overall draft pick in this upcoming draft. The picks were between the 18th and the 19th NBA, or I'd say NBA draft pick. So the Bulls did win that and they got the better draft pick. I'll probably have a future video out. I'd say really recapping and deep diving into the NBA draft, but that is months away. You know, huge shout out to Ricky O'Donnell. He did put out five names for the number 18th pick if the Chicago Bulls do keep it. And that's going to be an interesting conversation to talk about later in the offseason that I'll definitely cover. If the Bulls should draft another young guy to add to this roster or maybe package it with a player and try to, I'd say, win now. But either way, I'll make sure to throw up his tweet and all these names. I'm going to be real. I don't watch that much college basketball ball but i have heard a lot of good things about mark williams you know he is a center for duke like i said i'll definitely have a future video out breaking down a bunch of names for the chicago bulls or even if they do keep the pick or some potential trade targets if the bulls do decide to, i'd say package this pick with a player thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one